Hello and welcome to the video. In this video, we'll look at the problem maximum and minimum. So it is the fourth problem in the greedy algorithm in the hacker rank interview preparation kit playlist. So it is marked as a medium <coughs> and fourth score 35. So in this particular problem, uh, we'll first look at the problem definition, which will be followed by naive approach, optimized approach, and in the end, we'll write code for this. So if you're in a hurry, you can either watch it at 2x or I'll be adding timestamps in the track. So you can directly go to code or explanation or whatever you prefer. So let's start with the problem definition. First, we need to find minimum unfairness. So what is an unfairness? It is the difference between maximum element in a subarray and minimum element in a subarray. So basically, uh, there could be questions about what is a subarray if you are directly landing to this particular problem. So subarray is the basically a subset where you will give you will be given size so in this case they will provide you k so here k is 2 so we'll ha have a sub array of two elements or you can always call it a subset so here what we need to do is we need to create subsets of given size uh, that is a k and then we need to find the difference between maximum element in the subset and the minimum element in the subset and after finding the difference we need to compare the difference with all the uh, remaining subsets and to check which subset has the minimum difference that is called as an unfairness and then we print out what was the minimum unfairness. So this is a basic, uh, basically a greedy problem. So for, let's start with the naive approach and uh, later we'll optimize on that part. Uh, so let's start this particular example 1472. Okay, I have written down the example. So these are the elements into the array and in the first problem, let's take k as 2. So we'll create subsets of uh, array having two elements. So I have uh, also drawn the elements or the subsets and I have also added the definition of unfairness in the case of uh, any issue. So uh, how we can create this subset is first we'll take let's say a for loop. And for each element, we'll compare or add another element. So we can see for 4, we'll have 2, 5, 7, 2, 5, 7. Again, the for loop will increment for each element. And then we'll check for i plus element. So this is a basically n square approach where we would be generating uh, what we can say subset. And after that, check the values. So let's start. We'll check what is the unfairness in this particular problem. So we have 4 and 2 for subset. So maximum value is 4. Minimum is 2, so we know that the unfairness value will be 2 here. 4 and 5, uh, the unfairness will be 1. 4 and 7, so it will be 3. 2 and 5, again 3. 2 and 7, it is a 5. And 5 and 2, it's again 2. So by using common sense or we, because it's a smaller example, we can directly see it and we can say that the minimum uh, unfairness is 5 here. So what you can see that first we have O of n square approach to find subsets and after finding subset we, we have to again loop into the array for n number of times. Not exactly n number of times it will be higher than that of n because the number of subset will be always more than the elements in this array. Okay, So this is a basically n square plus n approach and we don't want to go through this particular naive approach but uh, we'll learn what is going on and then we'll optimize on this part. So let's take another example. Let's start with k is equal to 3 where we'll need to find the subsets of size 3. Okay, here it is. Uh, there are four subsets which can be formed for that particular value uh, where each subset has three elements. So let's again check for this particular subset, the minimum value is 2 and maximum value is 5. So minimum difference will be or the difference will be 3. Similarly, for this particular value 4 and 7 will be minimum and maximum the again difference will be 3 2 5 7 the difference will be 5 and again for 2 4 7 the difference will be 5 so if we see we are actually comparing more values we want to delete or remove unnecessary checking because we know that these particular values are massive or which we previously checked we don't want to check it okay by seeing these two examples now we know uh, this approach is very expensive in the terms of time complexity. So one of the key observation we draw from here, there will be minimum unfairness whenever the elements are near to each other. And by near, I mean uh, near in the number system, which are adjacent to each other. So what we can see uh, or we can do is, we can sort this particular array. So this will be particularly uh, 2, 4, 
5 and 7 and now we need to check unfairness for subset let's say again for 2 so what we can do is the minimum value will be always on the left hand side and the maximum value will be always on the right hand side of a subset because it's a sorted array the leftmost part will be minimum rightmost part will be maximum for any subset so from here we can say 2 and 4 the difference will give us the value 2 again for 4 and 5 the difference will be so let me change the color so for checking 4 with 5 so this will be again another comparison so the difference will be 1 and similarly for the last iteration we will check 5 with 7 so again this difference will be 2 so here we can see that the minimum difference is 1 and we got it in the 3 iterations or 3 checkings whereas we he, we did 6 iterations or checking here we did 3 checking here and also in order to get all the subsets we did an operation in the time of o n square however the sorting can be done of uh, in, in n log n terms so this particular approach by sorting and then comparing values can be solved in n log n terms okay so again let's check for the another value let's say we have k as 3 for k will be 3 what will be we'll be doing is first element will be the leftmost part and we we'll always be the smallest and the third element into the subset will be this right because we want to have a subset of three elements so this will be the sub array so we'll now check the difference between 2 and 5 so it is basically 3 after that we'll be checking value with 4 and 7 so what here we are basically doing is we are taking two pointers and which will move forwards in the terms of k's value so by comparing 4 and 7 we'll get again 3 so uh, the 3 will be the minimum unfairness in this particular problem okay by now we can say that this particular approach is good why because it first it can be done in o log n log n terms uh, whereas previous was n square plus n terms and secondly i don't think this particular problem needs more of explanation because it's very simple and if you have done all the 30 problems till now in the current preparation kit this problem should be a cake walk. however i will not be assuming things i'll be writing code for this and if there is any doubt or if you feel that there is an explanation uh, is required on any part do let me know so let's start with the code okay so before writing code there are two things which we always discuss first is what is the input and how it is being taken so if you see input is being taken in the terms of first uh, there will be n that is the size of array and followed by k so k is uh, how many elements will be present in a subset or sub array and these are values in the terms of 10 to the power 5 and the array i value will be in the 10 to the power 9 so what we can do is basically take a long how it will first start with uh, int value and if there is an issue we will convert it to long okay so let me write uh, basically a template so this will contains library files and okay so this is the basic template and the, we saw the particular example which was 2 4 5 and 7 so we'll uh, write code according to this particular value first there was k is equal to 2 so what we want to do is we want to check this particular value with next value because for 2 there will be always 2 elements in the array so how we can check this particular value let's say this is the i value is equal to 0 because we'll be starting with array so because this is a 0 the next value uh, you can directly say it is a 1 or the first index so how we can get first index in the terms of code so i'll be writing that that particular logic here so it will be basically let's say i and i add k value so k is here 2 so 0 plus 2 will become 2 however 2 will be pointing at fifth value but we don't want that we want our pointer to be pointing at fourth value so what you can do is we basically subtract one from here so let's write code and if there is an issue i'll correct that in the process so first we need to take values so that will be int n int k and the value will be taken after this we will require an array so let's go with a vector so vector of int let's call it an array i will be needing one variable that is int input to push back the values into array 
so first we'll take a for loop it will go from int i is equal to to the size of array so in this case it is n Here we'll take the input and we'll be pushed back to array. Okay, now the basic things are done. Now we need to sort the value as we discussed in the explanation part. So basically sorting can be done using a big uh, library function. So this will be array.begin. array dot end okay now we need to compare the values so how we can do this is first let me take a for loop uh, i is equal to 0 now for what will be the last value which we need to check so if we, this for this particular example we know that we need to check 7 however we cannot make our i as 7 because there are no values uh, after 7 so that will result into the into the array out of bounds or the segmentation fault so what we want to do is our last value whenever there is a value k we want our last ith value to be one less than that of the size right or let's say if we have i uh, k is equal to 3 so our last checking should be with 4 we saw in the explanation because we if we do our increment our i and let's say our i points at 5 so there needs to be a third value here which is currently not so that will result in the error so the basic condition for the ith value would be i less than equal to n minus k so n minus k will give the value where i needs to be present so for this particular case n was 4 and k is 2 so the last value which will visit is 5 right because it's a zero based index and we'll increment i <clears throat> now uh, we will we'll require two variables so first is minimum so because we want to compare values with the minimum and after that uh, let's take another variable that is unfairness which was given in the problem itself so let's un uh, initialize value 0 to it so now we know that our array is sorted and we just want to check or calculate the unfairness so basically unfairness will be I think I missed I did a spelling mistake. Okay. Unfairness will be array the maximum value or the rightmost value minus the minimum value. So by now we know that what is the minimum value that is array of ith index because it is we left and we are starting from left to right. So this is done. And the, what will be this particular value is we want to check this, this and this value. So this can be deduced using let's say I have i here. I will go and I add k here so this will basically 0 plus 2 so this will be pointing at here but we don't want our i to be pointing here we want to point to point it to be here so what we did here i plus k minus 1 okay so this is the value after this we will be checking with minimum so it will be basically if min is greater than unfairness we want to initialize a value of unfairness to mean okay i think this is uh, good for this particular problem let's check if the, it passes test cases or not okay it passes basic test cases and uh, let's check for the hidden test cases okay one three condition have failed so the error would be uh, as a, as far as i think this in the, this particular statement because we saw that the elements were in the uh, size of 10 to the power 9 and there is a chance that the elements will be higher and that would be causing uh, the result yes it passes the basic test cases and the hidden as well so just uh, check what the minimum value or you can make uh, use a long data type there and then assign a bigger value so if you are someone who is trying to solve all the problems from my current preparation kit, do check other videos and thank you for watching. Have a great rest of the day.